Hey, what's going on everybody? Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. So before I begin to break this class down, I'd like to point out that it is extremely challenging to use, but also extremely fun when used successfully. For me, it's very rewarding to play the flags in Domination aggressively, knowing that in quite a few situations I'm outmatched by somebody using an ACR, MP7, PP90, or a SCAR while I'm using this class, and still end up taking or holding the objective. This class will definitely challenge you, but again, the payoff and the fun factor is well worth it. So let's go ahead and begin with the primary. We got the KSG, and in my opinion, the damage and range proficiencies are simply overrated. And what I have found, and call me crazy, but try it for yourself and see what I'm talking about. If you put the silencer attachment on this weapon, first of all, you don't sacrifice any range at all. And uh, second of all, if you use the melee proficiency, I have found, and in my experience, I found this to be the most consistent one hit uh, one hit kill shotgun that's available. And uh, Rate of Fire does kind of suck because it's a pump action, but it does feel really good to just go from one enemy to another enemy to another enemy, racking up three or four kills in a row just using three or four bullets from a, from a, from the hip. This is a lot of fun to use. The next, uh, next thing that we're going to talk about is the RPG. So sometimes I feel like the guys that were developing the RPG, you know, they, they said to themselves, let's, uh, you know, let's let's make this RPG as effective as a rubberized dildo bazooka blaster because of the amount of hit markers you get with this thing and the ridiculous flight pattern it has at medium to long range. However, however, it does feel pretty good to, uh, to RPG drop shot somebody and then lob some C4 to clean up the other two or three guys that are trying to take B from your team. And that brings us to our equipment. Now, the equipment that we're using in the secondary and even, I mean, even the primary really, really makes this first tier perk um, recon when it's proed out shine and you know, getting back to the equipment c4 i think is the hands down the best lethal piece of equipment for domination i mean you put that you put the c4 down on a flag run away run around patrol in another area or you know go try to cap another flag and and uh you know if you see that flag flashing then you just double tap x and your your problem is solved you add another point to your streak but um the concussion grenade c4 rpg really designed to make recon and which is in my opinion the strongest and best perk in this entire game especially if you're playing with you know focused effort you're playing with a coordinated team and you guys are all using recon it's proed out I mean it's you're unstoppable with this perk and um, I think sleight of hand blind eye those are those are great too but this hands down is the best team perk to use just no doubt about it um, the second perk that we're using is assassin I mean you're pretty much most of the time when you're running around the map I mean common sense has to come into play and you got to go back to basics you can't with this class you can't be in the middle of the map I mean if you are you're you're dead. Um, you have to. You have to play the flank of the map, you have to move around, get behind the enemy team, and you know, to, to get an advantage. And not having to worry so much about a UAV or a counter UAV or advanced UAV that goes up, I'm pretty sure this Assassin Pro negates the advanced UAV, but I'm not I, I'm not 100%. Pretty sure it does. But anyway, um, not having to worry about those, the UAV or, or anything, any radar, um, it just, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to use, a little bit nicer to use, because it, like I said, it is challenging. And Steady Aim is the third tier perk that we're using. Um, this, this perk can make the difference between you adding a point to your streak or you becoming somebody else's point on their on their streak because you know when you're when you're running with this class on having that that slight advantage of being of having your weapon ready just a little bit quicker than the the uh, the individual that you're engaging up close and personal um, really makes a big difference so that's what I would recommend kill streaks that I I selected for the most part just standard three five and seven but um, you know you can bump them up if you'd like anyway let's go ahead and take a just a quick look at you know exactly I'm gonna break something down for you guys right here and this is this is exactly what I'm talking about so this clip is a perfect example of how effective recon is when you pair it up with explosives now I barely get to cover here lob a concussion grenade and because I'm using recon I know exactly how to handle this engagement so what am I what am I gonna do I mean this guy's just sitting there waiting for me I'm definitely not gonna win this engagement with the KSG I'm probably not gonna win it with the RPG but I definitely am gonna win it with the C4 and that is a lot of fun right there. So that is going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Liking, favoriting, and sharing my videos on Twitter is always encouraged. And if you do that, I thank you so much for it. More content is on the way from me. And just enjoy this last little clip of uh, me running around with the rocket scientist class. Hopefully you guys give it a try. It is something different and it is challenging. But it, at the same time, it is also a lot of fun. So thanks a lot again, you guys. And I will talk to you later.